Today is June 19th, 2022, and it is day 335 of web development. It is also, what day is it? It's Sunday, yeah. Um, so today, I'm going to do another modal. So yesterday, I did day 334. It was kind of like, um, let me show you. I'll go to the code for result, I guess. Um, so it's basically the daily blender update. I click on it, and the modal pops up, and then there's an overlay, right, which is the background. It becomes a little darker so that the, mo oh, that the modal pops out, and then when I press the X, it deletes it. Like, it doesn't delete itself. It just hides itself. Um, and so I'm going to do basically the same thing today. Um, and yeah so i'll start with my doc type html to let this thing know that i'm writing in html5 do my html tags inside my html tags i'll do my head tag which is where any links go or like um any external links go like if we want to use fonts we can put the link to the font there then body tag which is basically anything that you're going to see on your screen is going to be in your body tags which is where i always start now I'm going to create a container. So we create containers by using divs. Divs are like boxes. You can label them using IDs or classes. And I label them usually with um, classes. Um, I called it, I gave it a class called container. And so now we can target it in CSS by targeting the class by using dot notation. So dot class name, in this case container. And you can give it a property, border, and the values can be five pixels, black solid. So it's a five pixel black solid lined border and then give it a height of 100 vertical height of the screen for now. So then um, also, if I want to apply a certain property to everything, then I use a star which represents everything. And I'm going to just set the margin to zero and padding to zero because it comes with automatic margin and padding. All right, now we have the container filling up the entire size of the screen. Now in here, um, let me think. So I want the container to have a background so I'll give it a background property and then I'll do URL because I can't upload images here because this is the free version of CodePen. But a little hack, just copy the image address. Um, so I'm gonna have this image from Unsplash. I'm just gonna check it out and see if it actually works nicely. Um, I'll set the background cup size to cover so it covers the entirety of the screen. Save that. And then I'm going to open it in debug mode, which is kind of like a better full page view. That's so ugly. Okay, let's pick another image. Let me see. Um, we can do something like this. Right click, copy image address, see if this one works better. Oops. Okay. Um, and then maybe move it up a little bit so I could do background position 10 pixels. Let's see where that gets us. 20 pixels. So maybe. I don't even know, it should be top down, so negative 10 pixels and 0. How about negative 20? It's moving to the left, like what? Isn't it? Okay, so how about 0 then? And then negative 10 pixels? There we go. So it's right, left, and then top, bottom. Okay, save that, reload. All right, so let me, let's do negative 100, negative 150. I guess that works. All right, now that we have that, um, let's see, that's the container. So now I'm going to create my modal. So in the container, I'm going to create another class. I'm going to call it modal container just like I had yesterday. So modal container, and then inside the modal container is obviously going to be my modal. Um, and then inside the modal, I'm just going to do an image, right? And then I'm gonna do 
class. I'm just gonna do um, modal content, and inside I'm just going to have an H1, which is a heading, whatever. All right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna give the modal container a border of five pixels white. That's not how you spell pixels. Solid. Is that not what I said? Modal container. Modal container. Is this thing okay? Where is it? I can't see it. I literally told it modal container. Oh, equal. There we go. Okay. Um, so that's the modal container. So I need that. Let me think. Um, okay. I need it to have position of some way to have a height. And I need it to have to be on top of everything. It can't be relative to anything. So it has to have its own thing. So position absolute. And then I need to have a height though. It's not gonna. Okay, and then a width of 100%. There we go. And then the background needs to be a linear gradient of RGBA 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.77. 0 0.7 and then copy that again all right and then that should pop up there after the semicolon all right so that's that and then the modal is let me give it a border of five pixels white solid that's the modal. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's at the center of the modal container. So I'll give the modal container a display of flex and then justify content center align items center and then give the modal probably a width of 25%. Probably not. How about 50? And then a height of 20%. Um, let's do maybe 40%. And give it a border radius of 20 pixels. So it's round. And then um, let me kind of search up an image here. Okay, anyway, so image I think is what I gave it, so I'm going to give it a background URL, paste the link to the image there. Um, I'm pretty sure, is that not what I gave it? Yeah, I gave it a class called image. Um, give it a height, because right now it doesn't have a height. I'll give it maybe 400 pixels, and then do background. That's oh, That's really bad position no, no no background size set it to cover so that it covers the entirety of its container which in this case is the image um okay so let's do 100 pixels for now um and then let's go to the modal itself right and give it a display of grid because i want these things to be side by side like the image and the heading or the modal content so i'm going to do grid template columns right to make a grid and i'll do two columns so i'll give each column one fr one fr um this could also be the same thing as repeat two times one fr so that separates the modal into two equally spaced columns right repeat two times one fr okay now you can see it's like that so 
let me do something real quick delete that height because it comes with an automatic height and then background position maybe center or maybe i'll start with the or maybe i'll change it to bottom there we go that works nicely um, i'm also going to give the mode off some padding right so everything maybe 20 pixels something like that um, i'm going to give the image a border radius of uh what am i going to give it of oh, 20 pixels okay so it's something like that and then the image no the modal content i'm going to give it a display of flex so that's at the center so i'll do justify content center which aligns it horizontally and then align items center aligns it vertically and then I'll change the color of everything in the modal content to be white. And then maybe, let me think. Let me think, let me think. Do I want it to be uppercase? I could always do tra text transform and say upper case. That's so bad. Um, how about I go to Google Fonts? Um, I generally don't even know what I want. Um, um, I kid you not, I don't know. Maybe delete this one. Add the style so in this case right we take the link I copy it and then I go to code pen and I go to HTML and I just put the link in here and then I go where's my stuff and then I go here and just take the CSS and now I can use it in my CSS As you can see, it changed the heading. All right, now let me see. The modal should have a background, so I'll give it a back. Actually, should I give it a background? Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe, maybe let's not do a background. What if I remove the border? Um, where's the border? Oh, here. No, it just looks weird. So if I'm not gonna have a background, I should have a border, and maybe not it's so thick. I think this is fine and then I'm gonna do an X this time let me just try to do it myself because I don't want to forget how to do it um, I always just copy it from my old codes um okay so icon 8 click on X which one should we use should I use something fancy I could use something fancy something cute or not I don't know um oh, I'm tired. Um Ooh, what? That's cute. Okay. Um I don't know, I don't like any of these. Maybe this. Right click, copy image address, go here, go to my HTML. So I'm going to put this, um, where do I put this? In the modal. Um, modal container. Modal. I could do it here. So I'll do div 
No, I won't do that. I'll just do H ref to nowhere for now. Call it um, just paste. I'll do an image here. SRC source and then change that. There we go. And then I'll give this an ID of image, which is different than my class of image. Um, and then I'll go down here and um, did I just gave it? No, 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 no. ID of X. Okay, now go back here. And then I'm going to set the position to be absolute so it has basically nothing to do with the modal. <laughs> And I'm just going to set the width of the image, which is the element, which is different with, from the class image. I'm going to set the width to be maybe 25 pixels and the height to be 25 pixels. And then the X itself, I'm going to move it from the left, maybe 90%. And where did it go? Oh, I'm so blind. 60? 70, 75, 76, I guess, 74, 73. Okay, I guess that works. Only thing is, um, it's black and I can't see it, so it needs to be like white. Um, so that's a problem. So I need to go find some other icon. <sighs> Can I do, um, Filled and I need it to be filled to white. Copy image address. What? Whatever. Um, go back here. HTML. Just change the link. That's horrible. Anyway, it still works. We're just going to leave it like that. Don't really care enough. Um, okay. And now for the fun part. So, when the X, right, is targeted, which is when you click on it, then I need the modal. Wait, 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 wait. The modal, where's the modal? Here, I'm going to give it an ID of modal. You know what? I'm going to give, not the modal, but... I'm going to give it here. I'm going to give it ID modal to the modal container. So I need the modal to have a visibility of hidden. Maybe we'll figure it out. And then the modal container, let me get rid of the border. And then let me get rid of the border of the container. Um, and then let me set the modal container to have a visibility of hidden. Okay. Um, so it hides everything. Right. Now, um, for the container, there is one thing. I need to give it an href of, um, let's do button for now because I don't know. Give it an ID of button. Go here and just decorate it. So we'll do hashtag btn. Give it a background. Um, I don't know. Let me go to my colors page. That's not how you spell. Actually, that is how you spell colors, but not the page that I want. Well, oh wait, no, I could have just done a similar color, maybe something like this. This color here, copy that. Hashtag, because it's a hex code, and I should appear there. Um, give it a padding of 20 pixels. Text decoration, none, so it removes the underline. Um, and then color white. So so that the color is white. <laughs> um, give it a border radius of 20 pixels. 
um, text to line so it's at the center, although it's already at the center. And that's not a useful center. Um, maybe instead, I'll give it a position relative to the container here. Um, and then from the top, maybe 20 pixels. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, it's working. Okay. And then maybe 10 pixels for padding. Um, and then we can have the container have a display of flex. See, let me think. If I had more stuff here, I couldn't just make the container have a display of flex. I probably would have to have a grid and then make the grid flex. I don't even know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Justify. Content center. Align items. Center. So again, justify content aligns it horizontally. While align items aligns it vertically. But maybe I don't want it vertically. I want it to be... No. Actually, yeah. I do want it to be in the middle. And maybe also have a font size of 50 pixels. And then also have a font family of the same font that I had up down there. Okay. And then let's see, give it an ID button, right? So when Where's my button? Okay. So when button is targeted, I need the modal to have a visibility of visible. Any data would be great. Where does the link go? Oh. Model. The link to the button needs to head to the modal. The modal. The modal. The link to the X. Hold on. Reload. What am I doing? All right. Button. Change it to maybe something like. Um. Um, get a quote. Alright, now when I click on it, it should pop up the mobile, but it's not doing that. So let's figure out why. Alright, so, I can put this here. Put this down here. So, currently, the modal container is here, and its visibility is set to hidden. When I target the button, the modal should be, oh, it's not the button that I target. It's the modal that I target when I click the button because when I click the button, the modal is targeted because when I click the button, it the, it, the link is going to the modal. So now that I do that, it should work, right? There we go. Um, although I don't like it. Cause, cause like the transparency isn't it's it's not giving. It's not giving. Um, how about though I make the height of the modal to be bigger? Um, maybe sixty percent. But still, it's ugly. All right, so how do I fix this? I give it a background. Do I want to give it a background? Not really. I really don't want to give it a background. Should I give it a background? It just it doesn't look good with the... I don't know. Maybe, okay, I'm going to give it a background. So I'll give it a background, then I'm going to have to change the button link again. Of... E -E 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 -E. 
to it. All right, so now that's happening. Um, now I need to go back up here and just copy this again. Right click, copy image address, and change the link to that. Okay, first of all, like why? Why is this necessary? Let me go back. The link was shorter the first time I did it. Where is this stuff? There we go. Okay, save that, reload, and now it should pop up there. It should probably be bigger though. So I'm going to go down here and change the width and the height to probably be 35, 35. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's better. Um, heading should be black now because the background's black. So I'm gonna go here and give the color of the modal con of anything in the modal content to be black. And keep reloading the wrong page. Um, let's see. Got a quote. And then maybe it should be black. I want it to be black. Let me see. Um, where's the button? I'd rather it just be black. It's more professional that way. Get a quote and then heading. And then maybe instead of the heading, right, I could do like a price. I don't know. $499.99. Per year. There we go. Okay, and now this is a, our little modal here. So get a quote, click on that, right? Modal pops up, and then click on the X and it disappears. All right, that's it for today.